That's so I, I like what kind of powerful does that feel like? I would feel amazing. Uh, for me, it's kind of an everyday. Scenario. Is he boastful or is he just painfully honest? Well, that's Noah Lyles we're talking about, so it could be somewhere in between. But to be fair, he has the right to brag. After all, he worked very hard to be where he is today, the fastest man in the world. Except he has yet to break Usain Bolt's records. But some would argue that he is more than capable of doing so. And in Paris, he aims to do so. So I said, uh, well, I gotta go bigger this. Yeah, I said three gold medals, that's great. You know, but you know, I'm talking to some of my family friends and like, you gotta go bigger. Like, what's bigger than three? <laughs> Yeah. Knowing what we know about him, it is really entirely impossible for Lyles to go bigger. After all, the entire world has already seen what he is capable of. As Kelly Clarkson put it, Noah is. Guest is one of the most talked about athletes in track and field. He's a six-time world champion, American record holder, and he earned the bronze medal in the 2020 Tokyo Games for the 200 meters sprint. Let's welcome the fastest man in the world, Noah Lyles. As you are all aware, American track sensation Lyles is being touted as potentially the most dominant male sprinter since Usain Bolt, as he targets double individual gold in the 100 meter and 200 meter. The 26-year-old Floridian proved it could be done when he did the double at last year's World Championships. What's more, his current form suggests he is a shoe-in over the slightly longer distance. His 100-meter battle with Jamaican champion Kashane Thompson may, however, dictate the extent of his greatness. But well, he's prepared for that. He has lofty goals, after all. That means he is pretty confident in achieving them. More than beating the Jamaican, though, Lyles also aims to break the American record in the 100 meter. The record is currently held by Tyson Gay, who clocked 9.69 seconds in 2009. Why is he very specific about this, you may ask? It is because Lyles already holds the American record in 150 meter, 200 meter, and 300 meter distances. While the world champion has held the 300 meter record since 2017, he became the fastest American in 200 meter in 2022 after clocking 19.31 S at the World Championships and breaking the 150 meter record this season with a time of 14.41 seconds. Now you understand why he's eyeing the 100 meter record. He wants it all. Who wouldn't, right? If it wasn't clear enough, the 100 meter record is the only thing missing from Lyles' resume. And it's also his weakest of the events. Although he holds a personal best of 10.83 seconds, in the event it is still 0.14 seconds off the American record held by Tyson Gay. Lyles being Lyles, he stated that he can breach the mark in 2024, and he has his coaches backing for that. Speaking to Track World News in an interview, the world champion claimed that his coach Lance Browman told him in 2022 that he was going to break the 200 meter American record, which he did. Now, his coach told him the same thing about the 100 meter dash. Nevertheless, Lyles claimed that irrespective of whether he was going to break the record or not, at the Paris Olympics 2024, he was still going to win because he's faster now and stronger than you. That's a hard pill to swallow for other competitors, the track superstar said. To be fair, he is faster than his competitors and has been on a dominant run in the last couple of years. The 26-year-old started off his 2024 season with the 60-meter dashes in February. He raced seven times over the distance and was undefeated for six straight races before world record holder Christian Coleman beat him at the World Athletics Indoor Championships. He clocked 6.44 seconds for the silver while Coleman won gold in 6.41. Lyles had earlier defeated Coleman at the USATF Indoor Championships in a personal best of 6.43 seconds. He then opened his outdoor season at the Tom Jones Memorial on April 13th. He raced to victory in 10.01. Next up was the Bermuda Grand Prix, where he again won in a wind-aided 9.96. Lyles traveled to Jamaica for his third 100-meter race of the season, but suffered defeat at the hands of Oblique Seville. At the Racers Grand Prix, however, the American came home second in 9.85 seconds. During the race, Seville looked to his right at Lyles, 
meters before the finish line, boasting a faster speed than the reigning world champion. Lyles made three more 100 runs during the U.S. track and field Olympic trials. A 9.92 in the heats was followed by a wind-assisted 9.80 in the semifinals. He won the finals in a close finish, matching his lifetime best of 9.83 seconds to qualify for the 2024 Paris Olympics. The 26-year-old is undefeated over the 200 meter and also holds the world lead in the distance. Overall, over the 200 meter distance, which is the stronger suit of the world champion, he hasn't lost a single race since winning the bronze medal at the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. But as earlier mentioned, the 100 meter is a different matter. Still, as he gears up for the Paris Olympics, there is a unique record that Lyles has created. He has become the most consistent sprinter to have run 200 meter under 20 seconds, surpassing even Usain Bolt and Michael Johnson. Lyles had recently shown his commitment to an Olympic double as he qualified for the men's 200 meter event at the US Olympic trials in style, clocking 19.53 seconds overall. In this pursuit, Lyles broke the 28-year-old meet record set by world champion and Olympic legend Michael Johnson, who was once the world record holder in the men's 200 meter. While Bolt has run 200 meter under 20 seconds on at least 34 occasions, Noah Lyles has run 200 meter under 20 seconds. Not once, not twice, but on 40 occasions. He ran under 20 seconds for the first time in 2017 when he clocked 19.90 seconds at an athletic meet in Shanghai and hasn't looked back since. With such an impressive track record, the question arises, can Noah Lyles surpass Usain Bolt in 200 meter at the Paris Olympics 2024? Well, he appears pretty confident that he could. In fact, he boldly stated that Wayne Bolt was the fastest man ever to do it. And soon it'll be me, he announced. While Lyles' self-belief is palpable, he faces stiff competition from Bolt's compatriots, Kashane Thompson and Oblique Seville. Thompson holds the top spot as the fastest man of 2024 with a time of 9.77 seconds, while Seville's 9.82 seconds edges out Lyles' best by 0.01 seconds. To be sure, outrunning his competitors won't be as easy as Lyles makes it out to be. His ambitions of going after a historic four gold medals at the 2024 Paris Olympics are well known to everyone. He wants it because no sprinter has ever done it. But the only obstacle in his way is the 4x400 meter relay, which neither he is a specialist in nor has he run the 400 meter distance much in his career. However, athletes for the 4x400 meter relay are picked from 100 meter, 200 meter, 400 meter and 400 meter hurdles, and Lyles does have a chance to be named part of the team in Paris if he manages to convince coaches. His goals don't end there, however. He announced his mission to integrate fashion into the world of track and field, and reveals he's pushing other track athletes to show off their style before meets. That is not to say that that is his main focus now. Of course, he puts all his efforts in preparing for the fast approaching Paris Olympics. In fact, he withdrew from Diamond League meet in Monaco to focus on Olympic training. In order to put myself in the best possible position to succeed in Paris, we have decided to spend an extra week at our training base in Florida before traveling to Europe, he said in a statement. Watch this to see who else is going with him to Paris.